increase in heart attacks in women who are either pregnant or who've just given birth. Literally, the number's gone up 25%. Dr. Noelle Descupta is a cardiologist at IU Health. Uh, she's with us here this morning to try to sort all, all of this out, really. Uh, so let's talk about it. The study came out last month, mm -hmm. looked at 49 million women, yes. and found that the numbers had started to increase on women who were having heart attacks. Doesn't affect a lot of women, but it's still concerning. W what did you think when you started to read through the research? So the researchers at Mayo Clinic looked at registry data, looking at over 49 million pregnancies. And you're absolutely right. The incidence of heart attack in pregnancy is extremely low. Yeah. But what was surprising was that despite increases in medical care and cardiovascular care, the incidence of heart attack increased 25% from 2002 to 2014. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's surprising, but again, I want to remind everybody that incidence is still yeah. extremely low, so this would be something that you should put lower on your list of things to worry yeah. about. I, I mean, you're a cardiologist. I'm pregnant. I'm not ever told, go see a cardiologist. I mean, when we're thinking about our, our life and pregnancy, mm -hmm. you're not the person we ever really see. So, and you yourself have been pregnant, you know. Uh, what is it about pregnancy that just makes our, our body so vulnerable that, that heart issues would be an issue? That is a great question and anybody that's ever been pregnant knows that pregnancy can be a very stressful time for the mother. In fact, it's kind of like a little bit of a stress test. So there are changes in your hormone levels that will make you at increased risk for blood clotting in general, oh, yeah. make you at increased risk for tears in some of your arteries, in your oh, heart my. and your neck. And there's increased blood volume to support the right. baby, which puts increased stress on the body in general. I, I've read sometimes that by the end of the pregnancy, you could be up to 40% more blood volume. I mean, that's a huge <laughs> amount of blood. I mean, just for a, you know, a person over the course of a few months to, to, to have that kind of increase. So uh, one of the things the researchers said in that study is that they weren't sure why this was the case. But one of them mentioned that maybe maternal age might have something to do with it. I mean, a lot of us ladies are waiting longer before we have children. So because that's registry data, it's hard to tell for sure the right. exact cause. But they looked at the incidence of heart attack based on age. And the incidence of heart attack in women aged 35 to 39 was about four times higher than oh, women wow. in their early 20s, even higher if you're over 40. So again, the incidence is still very low, but the older yeah. you are, there does seem to be an increased risk. You know, as a, as a pregnant woman, the two things I always hear from my OB is call me if you bleed, call me if your water breaks, right? Call me if those two things happen because it's not supposed to happen. Do you think we need to add a call me if you start feeling chest pains to that list of things? <laughs> That is definitely something you need to worry about because as I said, you're at increased risk for blood clotting and different tears in the blood vessels mm -hmm. themselves, as well as having a heart attack or other conditions related to pregnancy that are first diagnosed during the pregnancy itself during increased stress. Mm -hmm. So the things you wanna look for are things like chest pain, all of a sudden feeling like your heart is racing, shortness of breath, extreme swelling, high blood pressure, those would be all things to worry about. Wow. Well, and I feel like the things you named are so many risk factors for so many different types of things, too. I mean, they're always checking us for all of those things, you know, yeah. the blood pressure, the, the shortness of breath, the, the edema, right, the swelling. Dr. Descupta, thank you so much for being with us this morning. I, I know this is a, a heavy topic to talk about, but it's important that ladies know about it for sure. It's 916 right now, Scott. And we are following a course.